while still on the review of Ensan's protest on news central's Chidima was who revisits the use of social media platforms and its attendant effect on the movement. The Special Anti-Robbery Squad Unit of the Nigerian Police Force was created in 1992 to combat violent crimes. Unlike other police formations and units, SARS allowed its operatives to work in unconventional ways in the fight against organized crime. However, allegations of abuse ranging from extortion, kidnapping, rape and extrajudicial killings by SARS operatives have been documented. The SARS operatives are historically known for harassing, brutalizing, and even going as far as extrajudicial killings. I initially started out with, with tweets, um, and I also shared messages and information. That was also how I was able to lend my voice initially. The temptation that I believe the youths and Nigerians at large are faced with at this time is one that says, um, if you cannot fight them, you join them. Um, I would strongly advise against this. We need to continue to speak out. We need to continue to make our demands um, peacefully. And we must not relent. We must not give up. Um, our voices must continue to be out there until the government gives us what we want. On the 10th of October 2020, several young Nigerians took to the streets to protest against police brutality sparking what became known as the NSAS movement. What's the issue? Why are they killing us for no reason? How many people started to kill? And for the first time in the history of agitations in Nigeria, the social media platforms became the readily available tool to coordinate this movement. Twitter was actively used to share information regarding the protest. One of the very few things I did during the protest was to contribute my own professional skills. So beyond being a commentator, I also happened to be a professional photographer. So I was able to go into the protest ground, you know, to take pictures. So basically, um, it's to tell young people like me, millions of young people like me out there, that it's not yet done. Um, the struggle is not yet completed. We need to strive for more until the government respects the sense of human rights when it comes to everybody irrespective. So this is just beyond the answers. This is beyond the fundamental human rights of any of every Nigerian citizen, be it young or old. So at one, a lot of demands have not been met, and that's the truth. There's been a lot of cover up, there's been a lot of controversies. But one way or the other, at one, at least the government knows that the young people are serious about what they want and they're serious about what they do. So what I'll just say is let's keep striving, let's keep moving and one way or the other, we've not gotten our justice. I'm sure that justice will be served. Since the emergence of ICT or digitization in the contemporary world, especially in Africa, the use of social media as channels of communication has found expressions in political, economic, social and business aspects of human dealings and engagement. It is not surprising that the federal government turned its attention to the operations of Twitter in Nigeria and consequently wielded the big stick on the platform months later. It seems the power of social media platforms cannot be overemphasized. Chilima Nwosu, reporting for News Central.